Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to set maximum difference in Odoo's 17 point of sale. So, set maximum difference helps to manage the cash handling accuracy. It allows you to define acceptable tolerance between the calculated cash balance and the actual cash in the drawer at the end of the shift. So, let's see how can we manage that. In order to manage that, let's Move on to the three dots where you can just click on edit and under that we can just move on to the configuration settings and here we have a section uh, to enable the set maximum difference so here you can see that we can just enable this feature so this set a maximum difference allowed it between the expected and counted money during the closing of the session so the authorized difference must be maximum of 100 so later on uh, the changes you can just move on to the dashboard and here we can just open the shop. So in order to open that, you can just click on new session and you can see the opening cash uh, is 950. Later on, we can just open the session and the customer is just going to purchase the item over here. So here we can just choose the item, which is customizable desk. Later on, we can also add different items over here. So uh, let's add any other product like conference chair over here. So uh, the customer is going to make a purchase of these two items where we can just choose the customer as Edison and uh, he's just going to make the payment using the cash um, and uh, we can just validate this. So after the validation, we can just close the session. So as you just try to close the session here, you can see the difference uh, over here and the total uh, price of the order will be shown over here. And here you can see uh, we can also add the counted cash in the drawer. So here I'm going to uh, set the counted cash as 1650. So um, here you can see the difference is minus 138. And we know we have to set an authorized uh, um, uh, difference of 100. And when we have uh, a cross check with uh, the calculation in our drawer, we just came to know that we have uh, just... 1750 in our account so we can just change the counted quantity into 1750 and you can find that the difference now has just turned into minus 38.40 so if you have any closing notes over here you can add that or if not you you don't need to provide any closing notes now let's close the session and you can see the payment difference so do you want to accept the payment difference and post a profit loss journal entry if you are just going with this you can click on ok so you can see that uh, a journal entry will be made and uh, we can just move on to the orders and session. So in order to do that, you can see we have a tab called orders where under that we can choose a session. So under the session here, you would be able to find uh, the starting balance where 950 and the ending balance is 1150 because the counted uh, quantity or the counted money in the drawer where uh, 1750 and we have recorded that and the payment that made by the customer is 800. Uh, th eight, uh, 838.40 and we can also find the journal items as well as the cash register so let's move on to the journal items where we can find that we have just received uh, an amount of 838.40 and uh, um, uh, um, here you can find uh, the amount that is received so you would be able to find everything over here and uh, you can also uh, see the total that is uh, made over here and uh, you can just move on to the session uh, or you can just back to the uh, uh, session and here we have cash register this also gives the relevant information uh, that is the cash difference observed during the counted um, accounting that is loss closing and here you can see that uh, there is a difference between uh, minus 38 uh, as it is the difference you can see that will be indicated in uh, negative symbol and we know there is a difference between minus uh, 38.40 now you can just uh, go back to the session as you just back to the session you can see that will be also available that is a closing difference will be also available in the uh, chat up so if you want to just add any nodes over here uh, to uh, like you want to just uh, show the manager that you have missed or uh, to add some other items over here so you can just add that like um, uh, i just forgot for good um ring up 
couple of cookies couple of cookies that's why uh, we can find uh, the difference over there so afterwards we can look that and uh, here you can see we have this made with the sitting difference uh, that is a sitting of maximum difference in order to same the point of say so I hope this video clarifies how to manage the set maximum difference in Odoo 17 point of sale. So if you want auto customization or auto tutorials, feel free to contact Cyprus as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.